finally, let's get some corals in that Nouveau 20. What's up reefers, my name is Chris and you are watching the Nano Tank Reefer YouTube channel. If you haven't already and you're enjoying the content, please do like and subscribe. Uh, we just hit 1,000 subscribers on the channel, so today I'm pretty buzzing. We're going to celebrate by getting some corals, uh, we're going to drip them, we're going to dip them, we're going to place them in the tank. Let's see how it's done. So before we start, I will go through briefly how I dip my corals. This first container has got uh, tank water that they're going into. So this is from the little Nuvo 20 here. Um, that's got tank water that they're going into. It was also got the recommended dosage of Aquaforest Protect Dip. This second container here is just the tank water from the Nuvo 20, which is the tank they're going into, just with nothing in it, so I can rinse the corals after. Um, I'm gonna go grab the corals, we'll put them in this, we'll give them a quick, a quick blast off with a little, I think this is actually a coral feeder, but it's good for, uh, for getting any crap off the corals. So I might as well go ahead and show you the corals as they're going in. So we've got a, an Acan frag, another Acan frag. We'll do these separately actually. So we'll just give them a good blast with the um, coral feeder. Make sure there's nothing, no pests on there. I mean, these have actually come from my existing tank, so I sh there shouldn't be any pests on there, but it's always good practice to um, when you tank transfer in just to make sure there's no pests going from one tank to the other, just in case there were any. The next coral we've got going in is a Symphilia Wilsoni. Again, this one's come from my um, my existing setup. So I'm just gonna give them a quick dip, quick blast, and then it'll all be going in to the Nuvo 20. And I think I'm gonna add one one more coral um, there is actually one in there I'll show you that in a minute when I uh, when I put these in there uh, I'll go and grab one more and last but not least we have a frag of Echinata it is it's actually a really nice one I think it's called a pumpkin patch Echinata can't quote me on that though um, it's like a green and green and orange so that's the basic dip. Give them a good blast with either a coral blaster, coral um, feeder, or a turkey baster. And then we're just gonna leave them in there for two to three minutes uh, to really make sure there's no pests on them. And then what we'll do is we'll move them into this, give them a quick rinse, and then we'll move them straight into the tank. So I'll pause this and uh, we'll wait a couple of minutes. Tell you what, actually, whilst we're waiting for those, in the dip, I will show you, we'll try and show you the coral that I added yesterday. I'll turn these onto white. So I added a coral, as you can see, it is a rock flower anemone. And I also added, let me just try and focus on these, uh, two sexy shrimp. Um, I've actually had the two sexy shrimp for about six to eight months, and I've had the rock flower anemone for possibly about 18 months. Um, I had it in the Nouveau before. I had it in my 250 before that. And um, yeah, I put them in last night. I didn't really record it because it took me about an hour to, to get him off the rock. And I just placed him in this little crevice here and um, kept an eye on him, make sure he's, uh, his foot attached over the, the coming hours. And uh, yeah, he's in the perfect place. That's exactly where I wanted him to go. Uh, so we'll move back onto the the corals that are in the dip now. Okay, so they have been dipped and they've been in there for about three to four minutes. What I will do is give them a quick rinse in here. And then first off, all I'm gonna do is just pop them on the sand bed. Just to make my life a little bit easier and quicker. And then We'll, uh, once they're on the sand bed, I'll move the camera over and we'll get them placed. I apologise, it's not actually the best angle, but unfortunately there's a lot of glare. 
So, uh, it's the best I can do. Um, I've turned the lights up in the room to try and minimize the glare. So let me see if I can put a filter, polarizing filter on. Maybe that'll make a difference. No, it just hazes it up, we'll leave it. All right, so we'll do what we can do. Okay, so the, the corals are in the tank. They are, there's one, let me make sure I'm in frame. There's one here, that's an Acan. That's a, like sort of a red rainbow Acan. That is, I don't know what that one is. It's another like an orangey Acan. This is the Echinata. This is a very aggressive coral, so this is gonna go somewhere. Um, I'm not sure where it's going to go to be fair, but I found that it's acans, it's cyphastria, it pretty much will sting and uh, annihilate anything within its path, so it's going to get some of that area. And then the um, symphilia will only, these are all unfortunately red or orange corals, so I'm going to have to dot them about in a way uh, that is, there's not just a big patch of red and orange. I mean, the, the rock flower enemies predominantly. Um, green and red. I'll show you a picture of that actually, it's actually a really nice um, rock flower. Um, but yeah, that's waffling and let's get on with it. So, um, to glue them to the rocks I either use uh, Gorilla Glue, the green top, or if I can get hold of it, the AF Aquaforest Gel Fix. Gel Fix is the best in my opinion, but my um, local fish shop doesn't stock it. So I only get it when I order online. Um, so let's pull this out. Where do I want this A can? I am thinking, oh, the clowns. This clown is a little bastard. It loves to bite me, as you can see. Right, so I think we'll have an A can there. One A can there. That look quite nice. Let's place that. All I do is just dob a, a bit of glue on the bottom. Look at that. Um, and then just hold it for a second. And generally, it's, uh, it's good to go. Okay, so that's one A can. Let me see where I'll put the other one. This one. Maybe I'll place. Then we'll place it in there. And then we've got red, 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 and then all of this is going to be a zoa garden anyway. Uh, so it'll really break up the colours. So yeah, we'll place that there. Up here, like this. Actually. Make sure it's attached. These obviously don't look that great at the minute because they're all um, annoyed because they've been in the dip. Uh, but they will puff up and they will look really nice. And they will. Um, the end of this video I'll show you what they look like when they are fully inflated. Um, Echinata. I'm going to put that just bloody hell, a clown. I'm going to put that just there for now. Um, I'm only going to rest it there. Just see how well it does. And then, and then, and then. Simplia. I might just on the back of this place it there for now. I'm thinking there's going to be too much red at the front, so I might actually place this in this little area here because there's a little nook that it can go in just. Just there. I don't think you'll be able to see it on camera where it is. No, you can't. You can just see the top of it. But that look. That might look quite nice there. When you're placing corals, it's mainly about colours and not having blocks of colours in one place. So you want to really mix it up. And also, you've got to bear in mind. I mean, do the, are the corals compatible? So you don't want to put a lot of this this echinacea here. That will sting the acans, but it's okay around zoas, so I can acans here, echinata in the middle, and then what I'll do is just fill it all out with uh, with a nice zoa garden, and that way I can have a nice mix of colours in there as well. So I'll leave them for a good 
24 hours and um, I'll cut back and we'll, uh, we'll see how they're looking. So it's actually, what day is it today? Uh, Wednesday now, so these corals have been in since, I think I put them in on either Saturday or Sunday and they are looking pretty good to be fair. Uh, the A-can, nice, it's like a burnt orange A-can and then we've got a ready orange A-can, it's got a bit of a, um, a rainbow centre in there but it's actually not looking that great at the minute. Then we've got the Echinata and the uh, Symphilia at the back there. I also added a mushroom here. I shouldn't really have added another orange mushroom, but I had it in the little um, holding tank and there's one back there as well that is, ooh, I think it's green with yellow spots on it. So, um, so yeah, they're all, all the corals are looking pretty good. The rock flower and enemy, you can't really see it. It's in, a, it's in a sort of position where it's always shaded from the light, but it, it enjoys it, so um, so it's, hang on, let me see if I can tilt this light. Nah, there's no way of tilting that light. Um, but yeah, you get the gist, it's looking pretty good. Um, so that's pretty much it for this week's update. I will be adding more corals to this tank. Um, it's looking a bit too orange for my liking, so what I'm thinking about doing is adding, um, adding a few zoas in there. I've got a lot of zoas in the holding tank at the minute, uh, so I'm thinking about uh, adding a whole load of zoas and just filling out this part here. This is what I'm going to start with, this part here, and then we're going to move on to the top here, and then eventually we'll, uh, well actually there's another mushroom over there, I forgot I got that one, uh, another little mushroom over there. Um, so yeah, we'll fill out this area, then we'll fill out this area here, and then we'll fill out this area, but I'm going to do it separately. Uh, so next week we'll probably focus on adding a zoa garden to, uh, to this part of the tank, so make sure you've uh, subbed to the channel so you don't miss out, and uh, yeah guys, have a cracking week.